uh, here you were, you had been deprived of your civil rights as a citizen. You were taken, put behind barbed wire in a camp and so forth. Uh, and yet uh, you went into the United States Army and, and fought for the country. Did, uh, did, how'd you feel about doing that? Did, did you ever feel, why am I doing this? They don't even let me have my, how'd you feel? John, I never had a, a, a doubtful feeling. Once they drafted me, I have to be honest, I did everything I could to try to get deferred. Nobody wants to go out there and lay their life on the line. I'm not that much of a, a hero or, or that patriotic. But once they drafted me, then I was going to be a good soldier. And I know everybody that, that I was close to in, in our training camp uh, felt the same way. We, we tried to be the best soldiers we could. And it wasn't because of survival or anything. I mean, you, some people say, might say that, well, you tried to learn all you could about being a good soldier. So you have a better chance out in the battlefield. That isn't true. We tried to do the best we could, no matter where we were. And once we got used to the Army life, why, we goofed up just as much as our Caucasian counterparts. We weren't any different, but we had no reservations about being in the service. I have a lot of friends that volunteered for it. Now, that, that is their choice, and I can understand it. I, I told the sergeant that interviewed us for Fort Snelling, the language school, I said, the hell with you. I won't volunteer in your army, but if you draft me, I'll go. And that's what I did. But after basic training, uh, I came home and um, I had a difficult time convincing my father that I should get married before I went overseas. <laughs> that was probably very foolish of me to ask uh, Flo that, that we should get married before, we went before I went overseas. And my father said that uh, um, he was very disappointed that I even considered that. You know, we were engaged before I, uh, before I uh, volunteered. And um, he was disappointed that um, I didn't think the way he did. And uh, he said, uh, he asked me, to remember that uh, uh, in Japan, you go die for your country, and if you're fortunate, you could you um, survive and come home. And I said, Dad, uh, I disagree with you. I'm going to go live for my country. I'm not going to say that I was any better than any other kid in Idaho from Bainbridge Island, but I do know that um, I did make a decision to volunteer. And um, uh, there was a lot of other young boys uh, my age who probably had the same uh, desire to do, do what I did. Um, but Bill Wokozaki, he was uh, probably the fourth or fifth son of the Wokozaki family. And, uh, when it all dust was settled, you might say, there were just Bill and I. And uh, I almost didn't make it because I had uh, uh, slightly high blood pressure problem. But I'm glad I did, and I'm glad that I um, got married before I went over, and I'm glad that I'm back on Bainbridge. Uh, glad I could stand here and talk to you, John. <laughs> Well, of course, I, you know, born to Japanese parents, true, but yet uh, I was uh, probably more of my friends were Caucasians, and so 
that I didn't know any different, you know. And so I think uh, as far as the, the people in this particular country is made up of people from all over the world and different nations. And uh, there was no question about uh, loyalty to our country because this was the only country we knew.